What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm gonna break down my overhead rig. I'm gonna show you exactly how I placed everything and I'm also gonna go through every single bit of the tiniest accessory that I use for my overhead setup. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as well to never miss any future videos. My goal is to reach 100,000 by the end of the year. Also leave a like for the algorithm that would be highly appreciated and if you stick along to this video and if you do like me edit your videos in LumaFusion stick around to find five coupons to my LumaFusion Masterclass which has the duration of one year. So five free one-year subscription plans to my LumaFusion Masterclass where you can learn everything from speed ramping to creating cinematic videos to the basic of how to put things together on your timeline. So without further ado I'll make sure to hit that subscribe button by the way and let's head over to the bureau of the studio for them to you know check out the different accessories that I use. Just have to put on my glasses so, you know, so I can see. So first, let's start with the stand that I'm using for my rig. And this is the Manfrotto boom stand. It's black aluminum and it also comes with the uh, sandbag here. And it's very, very sturdy. So this can actually hold the big uh, Godox SL60W with the 120 light box here. This can actually hold everything and it, you can counterweight it with uh, with different weights or sand. I simply have some just some weights inside of this which is balancing everything. I'll also leave a link to all of the different things that I use here in the description below just in case you want to check them out and all the links are affiliate links so I will earn a small commission if you decide to purchase from my links. So the camera that I use to record all my videos whether I'm recording a tutorial or an unboxing or if I'm just gonna take a thumbnail I usually take it right here with the Sony a7 III and this is what I use for every single shot that you see which is top down and this is also mounted on a Manfrotto a quick release plate which allows me to simply just take the camera off if I'm gonna use it for something else and uh, once I've done with using it for something else then I can just place it back and I have everything mounted in the same position when I'm going over to record um, a tutorial or take a thumbnail. So when you record overhead shots it's really important that you have your light a little bit further away than your iPad because it's gonna make reflections in the iPad itself and it's gonna look unprofessional. So that's one of the reasons that I have this cardboard plate here which is taking away some of the reflections that I have on the edge of the iPad. So this is highly recommended if you have light close to your iPad to prevent the reflections. Now the microphone that I used to use when I was recording my overhead shots back in the days, uh, I was using the microphone that I'm talking with right now. This is the Rode NTG Go, I think the name is, and uh, this is actually pretty good. But I decided to uh, go over to something which is uh, uh, removing some of those uh, background noises because I have my kid playing and I have the dog and you know it's getting loud and to remove that is uh, not really always the easiest thing to do especially if you are editing directly in LumaFusion. Uh, that's why I went with Shure SM7B uh, for my overhead shots now and with this you can barely uh, hear any noise in the uh, in the video and in the audio itself. So this is my go-to microphone for my overhead shots at this point. Now since I'm using the Shure SM7B I would need an amplifier to boost the gain of the microphone. I did a lot of research before I also got the microphone in the first place and I ended up with the Cloudlifter CL1. This is what everyone recommended and with that I also went for the Focusrite Solo to plug everything in together and to control the gain and 
and everything. So this is uh, basically how I do it. And now I record most of the things on my computer and using Audacity, and then I can just airdrop everything over to the iPad and have the awesome audio on the iPad as well. Now, what if you don't have a computer where you can plug all of these different things into and, or you only want to use your iPad or iPhone, but you want to have crisp audio, then I suggest getting an adapter or an XLR adapter. This is the Saramonic Smart Rig 2 Plus. It allows me to connect two different XLR microphones into the uh, adapter here for them to plug the jack into the iPad or iPhone. And here we have phantom power as well. And we have gain uh, so we can control the gain. But if you decide to go with the Shure SM7B, you would need a cloud lifter anyway to boost or amplify to boost the gain of the microphone. So the way that that works is that you have this smart ceremonic smart ring and then you have an XLR cable coming from this over to the cloud lifter and from the cloud lifter over to the microphone. And that works in the same way as it does on the computer. And that allows you to have more control over the gain and get clearer audio. So the monitor that I'm using for my videos here in the studio and for my overhead shots is the Porkis P6. I've been using this for almost two years now and I'm so satisfied with it and it comes in at only $169. So this is one of the cheapest monitors that you can get and it has been my go-to monitor for those two years. And this is basically covering every single need that I have when it comes to an overhead shot and that's basically focus peaking and that's, that's it. So the way that I mounted the uh, monitor as well is, but first with the the, uh, the clamp from Small Rig. I really like the Small Rig clamps because they are such high quality. So I feel safe putting my accessories when I have a clamp like this. The next one is a Magic Arm, and this is not from Small Rig. It's another manufacturer. I don't know the name, but I'll leave a link down in the description below to to all of the accessories which you see in today's video. So just in case you want to pick something up, I earn a small commission of your purchase. So it doesn't cost you anything extra. Now, even though this is not a well-known product, uh, a magic arm is a magic arm. And it's all about finding the one which has the right quality to it and which is well-built. This is extremely easy to use. And I actually find this to be the same quality uh, as the small rig one. So I decided to go for this instead of the small rig one. I think this was around $13 or maybe $11 when I purchased this. It was on sale. I think it costs like $15 now, but this is also something that I highly recommend if you need it because you get like the monitors away from your camera and like now I can mount it on the uh, boom stand here to get it a little bit further into the table so I have a better view of the monitor itself. And all the lights that you see here in the studio is Philips Hue. This is the Philips Hue Play and you get two of these if you buy a bundle. I think that's the most common thing to buy is, is a bundle and then you can connect it if you have this you know, Wi-Fi adapter thing, which you also have to plug into your uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, but that's basically everything that I use for overhead shots as well. If I want to have some or a specific color at the edge of uh, the iPad, especially when I'm taking uh, thumbnails, I usually use teal and orange, teal on the top left corner yeah, and orange on the bottom right corner and then I just fade that out a little bit so it's not way too oversaturated. And the program that I use is Lightroom on the iPad. Now let's talk about the LumaFusion Masterclass for a couple of seconds. Now if you're like me and you edit your videos in LumaFusion, and you really want to spice it up, you want to make better videos and you want to understand how LumaFusion works. Below there is a link to our masterclass and here are five different uh, coupon codes which you can use to claim your uh, one year of free subscription to our masterclass. There's five coupons, so the first person who you know takes the codes and go over to the website and type in the password will have access to this masterclass. Now also done like many YouTubers did before me and that is to get a fake IKEA plant to put in my videos and my thumbnails. So when it comes to storing different things here on the desks, which is convenient for me when I'm editing my videos or doing overhead shots 
overhead shot videos. Uh, I have a small, you know, it's just metal and wood plated. You know, it's something from IKEA, just to have some, you know. I have my SS, that was loud. I have my SSD disk in here, the Samsung T5. And I have the cleaning cloth, but this, you know, I'm gonna show you just a few seconds. I'm gonna show you something which is better. I have the glass cleaner here. This is for the, the glasses and um, some caps for the uh, the lenses and the camera and all different types of cables, which, which I need in my daily workflow. Oh, that, that failed, that actually failed. Your iPad might look like you know, it's been touched all over and you have so many fingerprints on it and you can't really remove them because, you know, you are using something like something like this and that's what you've been using for, you know, forever. Ever since you got your iPad, you have been using something like this. And what this does is basically, you know, it's get, it gets dirty and then after some time, Come on, after some time, you know, it's you just drag the fingerprints around and you're not gonna get it clean and it will look like, uh, yeah, yeah. So now your iPad is gonna look something like this. A lot of different fingerprints here and you have the cleaning cloth that you've been using for 350 years and you try to remove everything. You can see how it just gets worse and you stretch it out and it's not even it's, it's not looking good at all. And this is something that I struggled with before as well. And what I used to do was to take this, uh, this glass cleaner and just spray it on and then use the same cloth every single time and to see if I could remove it. But you can see it doesn't get better. It actually gets a little bit worse. You know, kind of make those fatty marks all over the iPad and it still it doesn't look good at all. What I did was to just take the the glass cleaner, just spray it on, and I used the microfiber cloth which is for my car. You can see how clean it gets. And once one side is wet here, I'm just going to turn it over to the next one. It's just like washing my car. Even though the iPad seems to get cleaner. So now that we finished cleaning the iPad here, you can see the difference and it doesn't look bad at all. It's shiny. There's a lot of reflection going on here, but like I said, uh, that's what this uh, cardboard is for as well. And usually this is now not centered at all. So I have the camera and the uh, iPad over here. So the camera is going to be a little bit more to the right or left, depending on how this looks. So that's how I clean up the iPad and like the microfiber cloth, you can pick this up in any retail store as well. So when it comes to the cables, I'm, I said I'm gonna cover everything. So the cables is, is basically the cables that follow the products or it's uh, some cheap cables, which I bought off a retail store. So that's, that's the cables. Now when it comes to the iPad that I'm using, I'm using the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2018 model. This has 256 gigabyte, but with the help of an SSD disk, I pretty much don't need any iPad which has more storage. And one of the reasons that I haven't moved over to uh, a new iPad is simply because this works perfectly for my workflow and it doesn't have any issues uh, working with LumaFusion. All the transitions, effects, and overlays that I throw at LumaFusion, if this iPad can, ha, 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 if this iPad can handle that, I basically don't need to buy a new one. Maybe in the future when or if Apple decides to make an iPad, which is a little bit bigger. So a lot of you have been asking me what type of mat or pad or just no sleeve which is underneath my iPad when you see the overhead recordings. The first thing I've used is the fake leather original from Apple. They called it leather sleeve, but this is not leather at all. And this is what you've seen underneath my iPad. It has the uh, space for the iPad and it also has the space for the Apple Pencil, which I'm also using the Apple Pencil 2. And um, just recently, I made my own custom one. This is also, this is actually, this is handmade custom leather. This is in testing right now. So I'm testing this to see the durability and to see how it holds up to my standards. And in the future, this might be uh, a selection which you can get as well in 
I would, I would say 50 different colors. So hopefully this is uh, holding the standards and you know, it has a placeholder for the pen as well. Amazing. So I think that is everything. I'm not gonna cover like what types of screws are in the different things and, and all that. There is one more thing though, that is, that is the Manfrotto tripod uh, 055. I'll leave a link down to that in the description as well. It, but since this is not a part of my overhead rig, I didn't show it now, I've shown it. I have shown it. I have showed it to you guys in a different video. I'll make sure to leave that down in the description as well, just in case you want to see the studio tour. But that's uh, basically the rig and everything that I use for my overhead uh, uh, shots. Now, like I said earlier, head over to the description below, click on the Masterclass link. If you got the password, type in the password and you have one year of free subscription to our LumaFusion Masterclass. That's also gonna be the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and uh, uh, all the links are down in the description below. So also affiliate links, so I will earn a small commission on that if uh, if you purchase off of my links. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can reach 100,000 subscribers this year. Also leave a like for the algorithm and that would be highly appreciated. And until next time, stay safe and... Uh